You know what it means to make a phone call, but what does it mean to call the shots, call someone's bluff, or call dibs? Today you'll learn 10 idioms and expressions with this word. Hi, and welcome to the Espresso English Podcast, where you can improve your English in just a few minutes a day. My name is Shana, and I'm the teacher at Espresso English. Make sure to visit the website, EspressoEnglish.net, where you can get online courses and ebooks that will help you learn English even faster. Let's get started with today's lesson. To be fluent in English, you need to be familiar with common idioms, these little phrases or expressions that can't be translated literally. You can learn more than 300 idioms in 30 days when you join my course. Click on the link in the video or in the description to sign up for my idioms course. The lessons will not only teach you the idioms, but also help you practice them to remember them better. Ready to learn these 10 expressions with call? Let's get started. Number one, call it a day. This expression means to stop doing something, especially stop working, because the work is complete or because no more progress is being made, and you'll continue on the next day. For example, we've written 20 pages of the report. Let's call it a day. Number two, call it quits. A similar expression is call it quits, which means to stop doing something, usually more permanently. For example, he used to play professional volleyball, but after a serious knee injury, he had to call it quits. Sometimes it's used for the end of a partnership or romantic relationship. For example, John and Sarah couldn't agree on whether or not to have children, so they called it quits and went their separate ways. Number three, call the shots. The expression call the shots means to be in charge, to be the boss, to make the important decisions. For example, Sorry, I can't give you approval for this part of the project. You should talk to Diana. She's the one calling the shots. This expression comes from the sports of pool or billiards and target shooting, where skilled players say exactly where they are going to put the ball or bullet before they shoot. Number four, call someone's bluff. To call someone's bluff is to make someone prove something because you believe they are lying. For example, if your friend is bragging that he has $100,000 in his bank account, then asking to see his bank statement would be calling his bluff. You're challenging him to prove that what he is saying is true. This expression comes from poker, in which a player can stay in the game by pretending that he has better cards than he really does. When you make someone show their cards to reveal the real situation, you are calling their bluff. Number five, a wake-up call. A wake-up call is a sign or signal that alerts you to danger or to a bigger problem. For example, the fatal car accident last week was a wake-up call for teenagers regarding the dangers of texting while driving. This expression comes from the practice of staying at a hotel and asking the receptionist to call your room at a specific time to wake you up. Most of us don't do this anymore since we have alarm clocks and cell phones, so the idiom is just used for something that alerts you to danger. Number six, a close call. This expression has two meanings. One is in a sports game or competition, if the difference between the winner and the others is or will be very small. For example, currently 49% of voters support Smith and 51% support Jones. This election is going to be a close call. The other meaning is when something bad almost happened but didn't happen. For example, it was a very close call. The fireman pulled her out of the burning car just a few minutes before it exploded. Number seven, good call. A good call is a good decision or good idea. When it's a hot day and one of your friends suggests getting ice cream, you could say, good call, because it's a good idea. Or let's say you're going to an interview and you decide to leave home earlier than necessary, and then you get delayed because of bad traffic, but because you left early, you still get to the interview on time. You could say, it was a good call to leave a little early because it was a good decision. Number eight, call dibs and call shotgun. Call dibs is an informal way to claim something for yourself verbally. If there's just one slice of pizza left over from last night, you might say to your roommates, I call dibs on the last piece of pizza in order to claim or reserve it for yourself. One specific form of this is to call shotgun, which means to claim the front seat of the car next to the driver. So if you and three other people are going in a car and you want to ride in front but not drive, you'd say, I call shotgun. These are slang terms, very informal. Number nine, cat call. The verb cat call is when someone, typically a man, makes comments or whistles to a woman passing by to show sexual interest. 
For example, every time she walks by that corner, she gets catcalled by the guys waiting for the bus. Number 10, last call. Last call is the last chance to do something or get something. At an airport, you might hear an announcement like, last call for flight 128, meaning it's the last chance to get on the plane before it leaves. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Let me know what you think and if there are other phrases in English that you'd like to learn. Remember to check out my idioms course for lots more of these informal expressions that are so common in everyday conversations, movies, TV shows, and so on. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. If you want more great English lessons, visit EspressoEnglish.net where you can sign up by email to receive a free ebook with 500 plus real English phrases. You'll also find online courses to help you improve your English fast, even if you don't have much time to study. Keep practicing your English, and I hope you have a wonderful day.